Until July this year, Pluto as a world we really didn't know much about. It was discovered almost by accident in 1930 by Clyde Tombow, who was working at the Flagstaff Observatory in Arizona. He was hunting for a massive planet predicted by Percival Lowell to explain some discrepancies in the orbit of Neptune. The planet that Tombow found didn't have enough mass to explain the wobbles in Neptune's orbit, but it turned out to be a wild goose chase because the arrival of Voyager 2 at Neptune accurately measured its mass, causing all the orbital peculiarities to disappear. Since then, our observations of Pluto have been limited to views from Earth and space-based telescopes, but earlier this year the plucky little spacecraft called New Horizons changed our view of the icy outpost forever. The first set of pictures that came back in July showed a strange and unexpected new world, and one of the most surprising was revealed by the long-range reconnaissance imager a short while after closest approach when it looked back at Pluto and revealed an atmosphere stretching over 100 kilometres above the planet. Down on the surface there are huge ice mountains and a vast featureless plain. This has got scientists baffled as its age seems relatively young at just 100 million years old. But close-up pictures reveal what look like frozen cracked mud suggesting the region is still geologically active. There are also suggestions of active nitrogen ice flows around the bases of the water ice mountain ranges. The latest images just released show great levels of details of these features, but also show what look like wind-swept sand dunes, surprising given the thin atmosphere of the planet which is not thought to generate wind. Over the coming months, more images will be released by NASA, but those that we have seen so far seem to have barely scratched the surface of what is a truly remarkable and surprising world. To amateur astronomers, Mercury represents a real challenge. It's only ever visible low in the west after sunset or low in the east before sunrise. But thankfully we can rely on space exploration to give us a more reliable view of the innermost planet in the solar system. MESSENGER is one of the spacecraft that's been studying Mercury and recently it's made the rather surprising discovery that the planet is rotating nine seconds quicker than previously thought. Now, although nine seconds doesn't seem like a lot to you or me, in planetary terms it's a different story. By studying how a planet rotates, it's possible to learn more about the nature of the core of the planet. Now, in the case of Mercury, we know it's a rocky planet a little larger than the Moon, but this new data suggests that internally, a molten core makes up 70% of the planet's mass. That may well be that Mercury's rotation is speeding up, perhaps driven by the influence of Jupiter's immense gravitational field which can cause it to drift a little further away from the Sun, which in turn can affect the rotation of the planet. NASA's Dawn spacecraft has been giving us unprecedented views of Ceres, one of the dwarf planets found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. One image in particular has rather confused scientists. It was snapped over a thousand kilometres from the surface and showed a crater which had an unexpected bright spot at its centre. Not only was there a mysterious bright spot, but the spot somehow seemed to be producing a haze. The haze, which was also discovered by Dawn, seems to cover about half of the crater and could provide the vital clue to the origin of the bright spots, suggesting some sort of outgassing could be the cause. There have been many theories from mineral and salt deposits to the possibility of icy deposits, and if so, then these spots and their haze could be evidence of cryovolcanism. They may even hint to the tantalising possibility of a vast ocean of water underneath its icy crust. Further analysis of these white spots is needed, though, to reveal their true nature.